Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I'm back with the highly requested video uh, on these really lovely dangles that I had shown in one of my videos in one of my projects. Uh, but before I share with you these uh, easy dangles to make, I just want to say thank you to all of those that left me heartfelt messages on my post on my channel here as well as on my story on my Instagram. I was a bit unwell uh, for about five days or so. I had a throat infection and lost my voice for a few days and I just needed to have a really good rest and I'm back now uh, to show you some videos and back on track. So again, thank you so much for everyone that left me those messages. Um, I love you all so much and that just really lifted my spirits to, to really recover really quickly and be back on my feet. And I did uh, also take some of your advice on some really uh, warm, comforting drinks to soothe my throat and just to uh, help me uh, get comfortable. And I did have the, I did try out the ginger and lemon uh, warm drink as well as some lemon and honey uh, and vitamin C. I've been told that to try some vitamin C, which I know I lack. So I did end up uh, buying some of those as well to just boost my uh, energy as well. So again, thank you everyone and I love you all so much and um, um, it just really means a lot to me. Uh, so my voice is still a little bit not that great, but um, I'm fine with that and I know I'll get better. But I want to show you these dangles. Um, all of you have been waiting to see how you can make these. And it was this a dangle that I had on one of my projects. And it was this one here. And I'm going to show you how you can make these as well. So these are some of the ones that I had made. And I'm going to show you two ways on how you can make these. Uh, so this is uh, just one of the ones that I've made. And it just has a string. And um, I added one of my embellishments here at the bottom to add as a focal dangle. And then some beads and a little charm. And this one here is the other one. I use one of my heart paper laid embellishments that you've probably seen in some of my projects. And there's some beads on that and add a little tag and a tassel. <clears throat> and these ones are similar to this one here that I had shown you. Let me just show you. So this little uh, flower satin charm is attached separately onto the onto a jump ring but this one here is just threaded through the hole here and then I just tied a knot so it's the same as this one here so it's exactly like this one and then you can just add more dangles to the hole to make it more uh, decorative and then these ones here I've added a little ring or a jump ring to the uh, top so that you could have this dangled onto like a tag if you like you could add these onto some packaging uh, you could um, add some more string to the other end and then you can then add it as another dangle so it's, it's just another way so i'm going to show you these two ways on how you could make these so if you have these rings um, you could also uh, try making it this way as well so we'll start making one with uh, without the jump ring and all you need um, <clears throat> to make these, I did use acrylic beads. Um, I find acrylic beads um, are lighter to uh, to use and the holes are bigger. So if you don't have any beading tools or like uh, little uh, like the tools for beading, uh, we don't need to use that in this tutorial. But you may, you will need a needle of some sort so you can thread your beads through uh, the string. So I've got here's some of my um, acrylic beads, all different sizes. And you can see the hole is nice and big too, so it'll, it'll thread easily. And also if you have some tassels or some charms or little pendants that already have a little loop, then that's good because that's ready to uh, thread through. Or you could also use some of your paper tassels if you've made your own tassels. And I have one here that I've already got a little uh, ring at the end. And then I've also got um, a couple of my embellishments that I'm going to use in this tutorial that I've already punched a little hole so I could thread the uh, string through. 
And you can also use these sort of uh, charms or pendants that also have loops already onto the uh, piece already. So you can use those. And then I've got here also some jump rings uh, that I'm going to use for the other piece, which is this one. And this size here, I think it's a 10 mil in size. So you can use any size uh, ring you like. This is a 10 mil. You could use a 12 mil or 8 mil size, millimeter, sorry. And then I did use uh, some crochet string um, to make the... Uh, to hang the beads off and you can also get thinner uh, crochet string if you want to use a thinner one if that if this one won't thread through your needle um, eye of your needle uh, you could also use uh, embroidery thread or embroidery floss anything you like that will thread through your um, needle so what else do I have here I also have these are the needles that you can use so you can get these little packs of needles with different sizes Use the larger size that has the larger hole because you'll need to thread both the string through the hole of the needle. But I'm going to use, uh, to make it quick for the tutorial, my uh, needle that has this nice large split opening in the middle where you can thread uh, your string through and then it closes up nice and thin and then it'll thread through your bead and even your seed beads or bugle beads, any of the fine hole beads these will go through them really easily and I think I still may have these in my shop and they come in two sizes or well, you get them in two sizes this is a larger one so it's got a lot even larger hole and then it just collapses back in to like a fine a fine needle so I'm going to use this one and so what we're going to do with your to make this one what you need to do is you want to grab i'm going to use the yellow one so you can see better uh, you want to cut a good length about maybe 12 or um, 14 inches or 30 centimeters and you're going to cut that and then you're going to fold it in half and i'm going to grab <clears throat> I'll use this one here so I'm going to make this one so I'm going to use something similar to this one this is one of my paper heart embellishments with the hole so then what you're going to do is you're going to fold this in half and the part that's folded you're going to thread it through the hole as same as if you were going to um, add some trim to your tag so you're going to thread it through and then you're going to bring these two pieces through the hole or through the loop and then just pull it up and that will now hold your little um, tag or your focal piece at the bottom and then with your needle you're going to thread both of the uh, string into the eye of your needle and then what you just want to make sure your needle will fit through your hole of the bead as well so you're going to thread both of your uh, thread into the eye of your needle in this case my one has that large split so it'll just go in easily like that and then it just collapses close and then you start uh, threading your beads however you like so oh sorry my sorry I forgot what I was supposed to do first so I have to take the needle out we're going to make a knot first I'm so sorry we'll make a knot first and you want to make the knot just a little bit above that loop, not too far apart, just a little bit. And then we'll thread that through the um, needle. I knew I missed a step on this one. So I'll just thread that back through. <coughs> so now you have that uh, knot and that will stop your bees from um, going through to the uh, focal piece so i've got here three beads so you can do as many beads as you like so i'm just going to randomly pick a couple of beads i'm going to thread that through and you're going to see i've thread that through the needle and i'm just going to pull it through and then it'll just slide through easily like that 
and your needle will do the same and then you just grab another piece of uh, another bead and this is a small one and you're going to see I'm going to thread that through slide it down and you went through all four um, strings and then I've just done that and then I might just add one more so again you just add as many beads as you like so I've got three and so I'm happy with that and then you can leave your <clears throat> needle in there so you don't have to keep um, taking it out you go to tie another knot and try to bring your knot as close as you can to that last bead that you've just threaded and that's going to stop that all those beads from uh, sliding up and down so you can see now I've got all those three beads in between these two knots so however many beads you have you're going to always finish it off with a knot and then you're going to make another knot and you're going to bring that knot just a little bit just apart from that last knot not too close and not too far just a little bit and then you're going to continue on making your next segment of beads or a charm so I have here a charm on the end so let's do that if you have a charm um, so I'll, I'll use this flower one <clears throat> so what you're going to do with that one I'm going to have to unthread this now I'm going to take it out I'm going to separate the two and thread the uh, pendant or charm through the loop So now it's in through one of the uh, string and now I'm going to tie a knot and that will secure that charm in place. So you can see now that's already tied inside. Now, because that's another little uh, section on its own, we're going to do another knot. And again, just bring it as close as you can to that last knot of that charm. And then we have to now re-thread the two again back into the needle. If you wanted to add some more beads. So I might just add one more bead. In this case, I didn't add any more. I just finished it off there. So if you're happy with where you want it, you can just finish it off here and then that becomes your charm dangle. And then you can then attach it to uh, whatever you like. So here I've got a pocket. Um, I haven't punched a hole. Let me punch a hole so you can see what I mean. So hopefully this will punch through in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... I don't think this will go through. Let me just try. Actually, what I'll do, I'm going to use. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I still got a bit of a dry cough. And the problem is, once you start coughing, it doesn't want to stop. I'm just going to gently punch with my little piercing tool. Oh, excuse me. I'm really, really sorry. But I don't want to have to do another take of this video, so I'll try and work as quickly as I can. All right, so all you do then is you just thread it through your hole, which I might use this. This is why it's so good to use these needles. So it just goes through really easily. <clears throat> And then you just tie a knot and make a little bow or whatever you like. And that finishes off this one. 
see and then that just dangles on your little hole onto your project just tidy this up so that's how you do this one and you can keep adding more beads if you like but it just then becomes quite long so that's that one <clears throat> um so this one is the same done that the same i just added uh, a tassel and one of these onto the end just to add more fun bits to it and then this one here with the uh, string uh, with the jump ring let me just take one of these rings <clears throat> what you're going to do with this one you're going to cut another length so so again you want to cut about the same length folding it in half and this one here has four strands and to create the four strands, you're going to cut it in half. You're going to bring these two together. So then you can see that you'll have now four. And the part here that's folded, you're going to do the same thing and thread it through the whole of the jump ring. Open up the loop. Bring all these four strands in through the loop. Oops. And then you should have it all uh, tied in together. You have these four pieces. If you only want to have just the two, you only need the one strand. So. I'm going to just do two pieces today. I won't do all four. I'll just do the two and then because um, the rest is just the same. It just repeats itself. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to thread the one of the string through the needle. And then you just, <clears throat> sorry, what do I do here? Oh. I keep forgetting to tie the knots. So what you do, you're going to have to tie a knot first like we did the other one. That stops the beads from um, moving. So again, just a knot just about there. And then you're going to separate. What do I do? I keep forgetting how I've done this one. Oh, it's the same thing. You're going to have them both threaded through the needle. I only made these a couple of times, so I've kind of forgotten how to put it together since um, I was sick. Um, yeah, so you're going to do the same thing, thread the two. And you're going to do exactly what we've done with the first one. Just thread your preferred beads. And this time we're going to work from the top down. <clears throat> and then just again, grab your next bead. And then if you're happy with where you want it. Again, you're going to tie a knot and that will stop those beads from sliding out. And then just bring it as close as you can to the bead. Okay, so that one does that one. <clears throat> and then what I've done, once you've finished with that, so at the end with this one, I did separate the two. And then to do that is... So you can keep going adding more beads, but make sh making sure you always add a, a knot first before you add your next segment of beads and then finishing it off with another knot. So that segment of beads uh, won't move around. But let me add, I'll do, I'll, I will add two more actually, just so you can see. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to quickly tie another knot. Hopefully I have enough string. <clears throat> So I'll tie another knot as close to that knot. And then I'm just going to just add another little one. Just so you can see. So I'm just going to have one bead there. So because I've only got the one, I can now just tie a knot and finish that one off. So 
so that has its own little section on its own now I'll separate these two and I can just thread these beads easily without the needle so that's one bead <clears throat> now with this case I don't have to tie a knot on the top just at the bottom just to stop the bead from rolling out and it's nice to have that moving up and down for that one so that's how it looks like and then I'm just going to add another bead to this one here to this um, let's see. this is pink one Hopefully I can get it through. I have a, if you cut that at an angle, sometimes it works. Which one I'll just put, <clears throat> I'll just use the needle. It's quicker. And then I'm just going to maybe have that sitting a bit above that yellow one. So I'll have the knot about there. So there we go, I'm happy with that. So I'll just trim off these little excess string. <coughs> and that, I've done those two. So now you can do the same with this side here and then just uh, do exactly the same as what you've done here and then you'll be able to have your uh, dangles uh, with all these lovely beads on the end. So that's how to make that one. Oh, I should have. This one, the hole is a little bit too big. Let me just fix this up. I can't. I need to fix it up. So if, you, if your bead hole is a little bit larger like my one here you might want to add a couple of uh a couple of uh knots double knot it to give it extra uh just to stop it from um coming through so actually i'll just leave that for now but if you have beads that are with a larger hole, just add a couple of extra knots at the end just to stop the bead from falling out. Or you can add a seed bead. You can add a sequence to uh, stop it from threading uh, to co uh, coming out. But I'll have to fix that later. But um, you can see that that was too uh, big for the knot. But anyway, this is <clears throat> these are the dangles. I hope. It was easy enough for you to understand um, and if um, if you want to give this a go um, I hope it'll work for you as well and just before I um, finish off these are some packets of mixed beads that I have in my shop as well um, I have these in my shop if you wanted to purchase these they will come with uh, some of these little spaces as well um, together with uh, the mixed pack of beads in case you like to purchase these and I also have made a few of these beads look at this lovely eye candy of beads I've already made a few and you can see <clears throat> I'll just show you so here's, these are just some of the ones that I've made if you wanted to purchase these and these are great to add as well to your project and you'll get a random pack of eight of these cute beads and one of these butterfly or and a star bead as well so there's a pack of random 10 pieces of beaded charms you'll get this lovely little uh, pouch with it as well as uh, a couple of uh, jump rings and a couple of clasps as well to uh to include it in the pack so i'll have these uh beta charms pack of a 10 with a pouch and some of those i'll also have a pack of these <clears throat> in the shop and get um these two together if you're interested 
So I do hope you enjoy this uh, video on tutorial on my beta dangles. And I hope to see you soon in my next video. Again, thank you, everybody. Bye for now.